How's it going, everybody? So, showing you the get home bag or bug out bag, tarp or shelter setup. So, I am in a campsite, so if you hear people around me, then that's probably why, because I'm not too far out, about 50 miles from the nearest town, but it's pretty far out enough, but a lot of people like to visit this location. So I have this set up right now. This is a poncho, so BDU or woodland-based camouflage poncho liner, or not a liner, but a poncho itself. So I just recently changed this out from the snug pack stasha that I used to run just for weight purposes. This is a little bit heavier, but it does add the capability of using it during inclement weather, which is really cool. So on most of my tarp setups, I will modify them with certain key features that I like. And that's what we're going to go over to keep this really low profile, lightweight, and easily used through multiple different scenarios. So the main thing that I like to do, and I haven't painted these yet, but I put small S carabiners in them and then I paint them black. So I haven't done that. I haven't painted them yet, mainly just because recently new and I didn't want to pull them off of another tarp setup I have. So also I use not 550 cord, but something a little bit less. This is about 175 pound tensile strength, I think is what it is. And it works pretty good for me. Lighter weight then paracord but it still gets the job done so how i have this set up is also an s carabiner but then i have a lark's head specifically right here or at least i think that's what it is called and this is on shock cord so i have this connected to the main ridge line and then into the grommet and what this does is when it when it gets a little windy and kind of fluctuates and moves around it's gonna pull the shock cord because you can cinch this up and this is adjustable too. So you can slide this up and down wherever you want the whole length, both of them. So there's one here and there's one on the end as well. So it, it helps your grommets out a lot too from getting really banged up. So that tensile strength or that pressure that keeps like fluttering it will go to something that's designed to stretch rather than something that is not. So I have it set up on taut line hitches, which if you're not familiar with taut line hitch, it is an adjustable knot. As you can see, there's a shrub in the way. But this is an adjustable knot that you can control the tension of it. So if you look specifically how I have it set up, and it is very low to the ground. It's about a little bit less than the shrubs itself. The shrubs are probably up here and it's down here. That's how you want if you want to conceal your location. So someone else observing something from over there is going to have a difficulty viewing where you're at because it's very low profile over the ground and it breaks up your you know your outline and conceals you so but also if you look at the bottom there's a gap and there's a specific reason why i have a gap down there and i'm going to crawl in and show you why that is so getting inside you do have a pretty decent amount of space now it is a poncho so it's not as big as your you know average tarp that you're used to but the benefit of this, let me actually do some weird camera angle stuff though. But if you're laying in it, obviously you get some of these shrubs out of the way, but as you're sleeping, you can observe things, there's the Jeep, all the way around while you're sleeping because you have that gap. All the way around, right? Which is good. You, I would clear some of this stuff out so you can see stuff, but you can see stuff like way over there and you're all the way to the ground, you know, being very concealed. So that allows you to have an opportunity to see what is around you. Let me get out of it real quick. So some shelters don't have that opportunity given to you. You know, a typical A-frame goes all the way to the ground all the way all the way to the ground over here so you're limited only on two sides you can only see where your ridge line is and normally there's big trees there so now you're limited even more so you're probably looking at you know 20 percent here you have 360 view of everything around you so you can place tripwire alarms like in specific avenues of approach way out there so when you hear like a pop which i'll probably do a tripwire video later on how to set them up but you'll hear a pop in the distance 
and immediately you're still sleeping in here and you can immediately look out that way and from the angle that you're at you can see but they probably can't see you so that's the benefit of running this setup the way that i do so this is normally what i do if i'm trying to be more stealthy or sneaking around or get home bag bug out bag you know getting transitioning to a specific location and you don't want people to find you this is the setup i go with because you can react even laying down in there with say a uh, rifle or a pistol you can shoot out of this blind at an angle for you know however long far you can see so that allows you to have a setup so specifically this is just what I wanted to share with you right now. If you guys have other suggestions or other things that you prefer, definitely throw them in the comments below. What do you like? Plow point, you know, A-frame, um, the whole flat ridge line on top. What do you guys like running? So let me know. Also hit that like, hit the subscribe. We're going to do actually more field work out in here in coming up videos. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you all have a great day.